guys, what's going on? Welcome back to yet another reaction. And first and foremost, I think that it is pivotal to mention the fact that I am wearing a V-neck. Look like look out look how deep I can make that V. Although I don't have the chest hair to uh really fill it out. Got a little bit of action going on, you know? Bet you didn't think that we'd start this reaction with chest hair. Anyway, as you guys know, season two of Loki released about, I don't know, 63 days ago. I don't know if that's accurate or not, but we are finally gonna be checking out the entire season two of Loki. I'm not kidding, dude. From episode one to episode six, the entire shebang. This is gonna be the longest reaction video that I've ever put out. Hope you guys enjoy it. And just to add a little bit of spicy, I don't know why I did that. Just to add a little different element, a little bit of excitement to it, after every single episode, I will implement ah, a ranking system. Y'all see this? Loki season two rankings. We will be ranking every single, whoa, okay. Every single episode of Loki from best to ass worst. And this is the biggest whiteboard I could find. Y'all ready? Okay. Y'all ready? God, I'm so excited! Sorry to those people wearing headphones, but I do, I'm so pumped. Green Marvel sign, let's go. It's honestly really sad how they don't remember each other. They built such a good history and rapport with each other. Mobius, it's me. I don't know you. What the fuck? <laughs> Foreshadowing. Kang's gonna deteriorate and bust into pieces. <laughs> hey! Nice to see everybody. Sorry about your window. Okay. Should be fine. <laughs> she just plummeted to her death. She's not fine. I got the intruder. I got the intruder. What are you gonna dip out the. <laughs> Loki. Casey. Oh, shit, he's bouncing back and forth in different timelines. Something terrible is happening. I was in the past. The fuck? Where's Mobius? Probably in Chrono Bay 3. So. Loki? Where did he just fucking gooch glitch to, dude? Yes! Dude, the intro takes me back! Let me just bask in happiness! <sighs> now what? We tell the people of the TVA the truth about this place. Hey, I know you guys think you're normal and shit, but you're all variants and your life is a lie. Loki was just here looking for you. Loki's here? He disappeared right in front of me. Maybe Miss Minutes can locate him. <sighs> Miss Minutes. That dumbass bitch. Jet skis. Sea dews. <laughs> what? One of these calling your name, Mobius? Maybe gently whispering. Mobius, come take us for a little spin. Yeah, come ride me, Papa. Why are we spending so much time on jet skis? <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> and shit! Ah, damn it! Mobius, where is he? Let's just ease them into it. We're just gonna tell them the truth. Agreed, but gently. You're all variants. Everyone who works at the TVA. Raised your <gasps> Wait, I know. I where do I know her from? We just need a moment to explain. Into the microphone, Hunter. Who is that woman? Where have I seen her? Make it make uh, sense. Fuck. We've what? God damn it. I don't even know. And under whose authority did you make the call to stop pruning branches? We didn't have time for proper protocol. Don't you understand? Oh, <gasps> she's from Game of Thrones? Oh my God, she's the mom of that fuck ass little boy who's sucking on her tits. Mommy, I wanna suck on your boobs, I'm 12 years old. I wanna make the little man fly, mom. I want to see the bad man fly. That fuck? Oh my God. The TVA has to change. We can't go back to pruning those branches. I can do anything. <laughs> no, you can't. Can you swallow your own asshole? Try to do that. Anything. No, you can't. Stop pruning. Effective immediately. <laughs> Loki! Mobius, help me. Hey! What just happened? Just a moment ago, you didn't Everyone know- Hey! Down. Tell me you recognize me. Stand you down. Me? She just said stop pruning, you dumbass. Stand down! 
chill, lady. You need to calm down. What do you need, your 12-year-old son to suckle at your teat? Sorry I said those words. It's disgusting. That's who built this place. That's who stole your lives. That's who's coming back. What do you want me to do? Find Sylvie. She's the reason we're in this mess. What do you want to do? Dark. Don't worry about it. We fought Mobius, and she kicked me through a time door. I'd ask who won, but it was a draw. <laughs> yeah, okay. Both kicked each other through time doors simultaneously. <laughs> no, uh, I said stop that. She was gonna kill him. Stop. Just when I forget about it. That's the banter back and forth that I love so much between them. It's so natural and like so naturally funny, even though it doesn't seem like it's actually a comedy bit. You know. You have to explain to me exactly. How did you just appear? God damn it. <laughs> I am so jumpy, dude. I never ever realized how jumpy I was before I started this goddamn channel. I mean, how does it feel? It's, it's not that bad. <laughs> really? I mean, it looks... <laughs> yeah, it looks pretty... <laughs> yeah, it's alright. <laughs> what? Ow, that just fucked my neck up. Ow! All right, well, we're not doing that again. We need to address the fact that you keep disappearing. I can't keep looking at it because it's horrible. <laughs> I thought you didn't know that bad. It's terrible. It looks like you're being born or dying or both at the same time. <laughs> it's not that bad. I can handle it. How does it look? It looks like... He... Who the hell are you? It looks like he's being shit out of a woman's vagina. Like being shit out. It was he who remains his tempad. Wait, that's who you said had my memory wiped? Yes. I have no memory of having my memory wiped. <laughs> so you know your guy. Yeah, no shit. Oh, hey. Welcome to RNA. Good. We're in the right place. Mobius! Great to see you again! Now, who the hell are you? I'm Ouroboros. Oh, Ouroboros. The name of the episode. Okay. But he calls me Obi. So how's the team doing up there? Pretty great. Yeah, I mean, well... I like Obi! <laughs> That's what's been happening. All right, he just got shit birthed again. Time slipping. Time, you know that? Yeah. You've seen that? Yeah. Can you fix that? No. <laughs> it's impossible to time slip in the TVA. I'm having trouble reconciling that. Boris. Do I know you? I've been time slipping in the TVA. It's impossible to time slip in the TVA. But you just saw it happen. I'm having trouble reconciling that. <laughs> A long time ago, he came to me complaining about time slipping. Is he talking to you in the past and you're just now remembering it? I guess time slipping is possible yes. at the TVA. What did you tell him? I told him that's impossible. It's not impossible <laughs> because I was just with you. I love the editing of this. It's really well done. This is a cool concept. If it were possible to time slip at the TVA, how might one remedy that? A temporal or extractor. Do you have one of those? I do not. This is so cool. Mobius and Loki talking to the same dude at different times, and they're still having one conversation. One temporal oil extractor. I actually do have an extractor here. One temporal oil extractor. This is so cool. That kind of temporal energy will peel the skin right off you. Wait, I, I thought you said not to oh. Now you're talking about me getting my skin peeled off of me? Violently rip myself from every thread of time and space. After you prune yourself, the extractor will pull you into the present. Oh, that's crazy. So Loki's got to prune himself and Mobius has got to get dead pulled with his skin deteriorating. Have you heard about how if you fall into a black hole, you turn into spaghetti? No. Good. The less you know about that, the better. <laughs> Damn it! Am I ready to get my skin peeled off? Yeah, am I ready to violently rip myself from every thread of time and space? Rather have <laughs> You'd rather be atomically disassembled than never reassembled yeah, again. Then have your skin ripped you off? Yes. Then at least you get to live. Live? What's the quality of life with no skin? If you have Vanessa as your girl, then it's uh, quite a good life. What's more important to show that Beto's boss? Let's do that. Actually. It's not the lamp. We're having power surges all through the TVA. What? Did you say? Power surges through the TVA! The branching is overloading the temporal loom. Temporal loom? That's bad. You know, the temporal what loom. What the hell is it's behind the there? Guidebook. Oh, dude, it's got an X on the door. That's just like the door to Cerebro. That's the X-Men door. Are they just teeing up a damn X-Men collab? They walk in there and they just see fucking Storm giving Professor X fellatio. I don't know why he said that. Apologize. I've never seen it like this. It looks like a disaster. Don't get down here too much, I guess. I never had to. Miss Minutes took care of everything. Miss Minutes cannot be trusted. She is sketchy as fuck. I don't need to close the blast doors to protect the TVA. What about the time slipping? Once those doors close, we won't be able to resync you. So it's now 
or never. Oh shit. Dude, do y'all agree? I, I feel like this episode has the energy of a season finale. And it's the first episode. I feel like I'm watching a finale. Green means prune. If you're too late, you will be lost to time forever. And Mobius will lose all of his skin. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, no pressure. You've got about five minutes. Anyway, I'm gonna get everything ready. Oh shit. If I don't make it back, I uh, make it back. Right, but. <laughs> Oh, sweet Jesus. You'll make it back. Let's hope. Otherwise, your skin's gonna look like a burnt testicle. Once these doors open, the terrible <laughs> radiation will start aging away your suit. Get down the- <laughs> Dude is fucking chunky in that uniform, bro. You're good. OB! I mean, duct tape does fix everything, let's be honest. For my gentlemen out there, if you're ever in a situation where things are getting hot and heavy in a bedroom with you and a lady and you don't have a condom, Duct tape. Wait, so a question about Loki, if he time traveled to the fucking future, does that mean that he then exists in the future so that they were successful in the past, which is their present? I don't know, let's watch the show. <laughs> okay, now it really does have season finale energy. Oh, fuck. Where's the stick? We need to close the blast doors now. Give him more time. Oh, yes. You have 30 seconds. <sighs> fuck, answer the phone, dude. Stop walking around. Why is he walking? Why are you walking? Sweet God. Not yet. Give him more time. <sighs> He's not going to make it. Answer the phone! <gasps> Sylvie? Wait. Who fucking- who pruned him? What is happening? <laughs> Holy shit! We need to find Sylvie. Oklahoma? Sylvie, what are you doing in the damn Sooner State? Not squirrel, not possum, not rats. Something that's already dead. Well, you can try our new chicken McNuggets and we have a big She's bag. at McDonald's? What the hell are you doing at McDonald's? What is happening? I want to try everything. <laughs> well, you'll be shitting for days. Okay. What? Pretty damn good episode, dude. Right off the bat, season premiere gets you in the gooch. It slaps it. There's a lot of twists and turns, am I right? It feels like a season finale. We spend mo the majority of the episode talking about what time travel is. We spend some time in the past, the present, and the future. It does seem a little complex, though, with the introduction of new characters like Ouroboros. Spends more time talking about time travel than the actual story but phenomenal nonetheless. Leaves us with a cliffhanger. Where, where, where do we put this episode? I know just where to put it. <sighs> Ouroboros. I don't even know how to fucking spell. Ouroboros? I don't know, I could I could have misspelled that. And we're putting that at spot number three. Middle of the road. Let's keep going. Sylvie's not here. 1977? On the sacred timeline, okay. Loki with that fluffy ass shirt, dude. He can strangely pull that shit off real well. This our only lead. All right, so we're bouncing into different timelines, looking for Sylvie. Who the fuck is this? X5 is an actor now. Or he's undercover. Mobius, whoa! I used to work with this guy. We're gonna need to catch up afterwards, all right? We're gonna need to catch up, I'm not talking Heinz. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Brad. We could all use a drink, right? What are you drinking? Surprise. Shirley Temple. Okay. Thank you. We'll do whiskeys. I said Shirley Temple. Is he running now? He is running. Hold it! Ah, come on! Let's go, Loki! Did you really think you could outrun me? Looks like we really did catch up. <laughs> Fine. That was sick. So unsophisticated, X5. Quit with the magic and fight fair! How about you stop being a pussy and just cooperate? It's not a fair fight. 
I feel like that's something about this show that I've forgotten about Loki is like how good he is at magic. I I've just almost forgotten that characteristic about him. I didn't do anything wrong. Yeah, but why'd you run? Yeah. Innocent people don't run, right? Unless you have a severe social anxiety, in which case, seeing your fucking neighbor, you sprint away. If you're like me. Suits you. You must love this. You will tell us if you found Sylvie when you've had time in holding. Right, because I'm a criminal, right? Okay, come on, get in there. Because I'm a criminal, Eminem starts playing. Because I'm a criminal! <laughs> what did you do to this tempad? Answer the question. Or I'll break your kneecaps and take your fucking Gulliver right out of your gonkus. You're just trying to make up for all the terrible, awful shit you've done in your life, you pathetic little man. Don't let him get under your skin, Loki. You just make everything worse for Mobius. For B-15, for your mother. Oh. Okay, now you're starting to get under my skin. Fuck you, Brad. You're a villain. And you probably think you have amazing hair and it sucks ass. <laughs> you got a wide ass nose. You know you're right. Perhaps I've just been waiting so I can do terrible, awful things to you, Loki. So let's try this one more time. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrifying. It's so too obsessed with her. Fucking beat his ass, Loki. I got a little tense. <laughs> hey, you want to hear a good one? We got a little good cop, bad cop action going here. I mean, you need to wake up. Yeah, I'm awake. Yeah, no, you're asleep. You need to wake I'm awake. up, Mobius. <laughs> Mobius getting pissed too. This guy's good at pissing people off. <laughs> man, I mean, you need to wake up. I'm awake. I'm asleep. You're just a nowhere man. You're a, you're a nowhere man. You're a silly little man. Mo Mobius, I mean, the shit talk needs some serious work. You're a silly man. Silly little man! You can't punch someone and then call him silly. <laughs> you're, you're silly! You're silly! Mobius, stop it. How about a slice of pie? Listen, that wasn't tactical. We know. I lost it. We know. Sometimes our emotions get the better of us. You can say that again. Wow, this is really wholesome, actually. You never wanted to visit your place on the timeline? Not really. Why not? Because it's not my life, but it could have been. I'd like to thank the guy who kidnapped me and brought me here. What kind of Stockholm Syndrome bullshit are you on, Mobius? What if it's something good? You, you, do you think I want to have that rattling around in here? Hmm. Of course not. Sure. You know, X5 isn't going to talk. He's the only one who knows where Sylvie is. Well, come on, you're the god of mischief. Right? <laughs> yeah, seriously. Tap into it, Loki. Now, that was a perfect example, that scene. They're literally sitting in a room, eating pie, having a conversation, but you got so much from that. So for me, Loki, the show, does an incredible job of making so much more with less. It's the little subtle scenes that showcase like Mobius and Loki's real friendship that really makes us empathize with these characters. So that's why I fucking love this. Their ability to make something like that scene so impactful. I'm gonna try the hardball tactics this time. Something like that. What the hell is that? Open up. There is actually one other option. Wait, no. this l no. is a legitimate hey. example of good cop, bad cop. That thing does not work without the controller though. Well, watch this, Brad. Oh shit. Did you find Sylvie? Simple question, really. But doesn't mean we can't enjoy ourselves as we go along. Cause I'm gonna break you like a Brad habit. <laughs> Only top tier jokes over here. I'm a villain. Loki, you're not a villain. Look at that. Wait, they're playing, right? Um, Mobius and Loki, they know what's happening here. <laughs> oh. Okay, okay. Oh, dude, I would get claustrophobic as Fuck. I don't know where Doc's and the others are. Okay. Okay. Okay, I lied. I lied. Oh god. Oh god, dude. Just tell me where Sylvie is. I'll tell you where she is. There you go. <laughs> Got there in the end. I used to be so love-hate with Loki, I didn't know, especially when he was fucking with Thor. But now it's just a full heart on unadulterated, fiery, lustful passion for Loki that I have. He knows where Sylvia is. See? A little bit of mischief. I mean, as good as your plan. Yeah, that was a great plan. She's in there. 
All right, she's in there. She's gonna look like Squidward after he ate all the Krabby Patties. I have to find out what she knows. I'll do the talking, be ready. Oh, she's working at McDonald's? I thought she was gonna fucking just try a bunch of menu items. What in the fucking Saul Goodman's going on? He's managing a Cinnabon out in Lincoln, Nebraska? What the hell is Sylvie doing? Hi. Say hi. Hi. Okay. It's a short break, so talk fast. Damn, that's actually a badass McDonald's. The TVA is in danger and you were there. I need to know why. So you see the future now, cool. Sylvie, stop being so difficult. My God. I have no intention of going back there. I mean, it sounds like you're gonna go back if he saw the future and you were there. Explain what I saw then. I don't know. Mm. <laughs> you were just setting us up for a great meal. What, what, what is happening right now? They're just, it's like they're going over every detail Look. of their relationship. Brad, get a quarter pounder and just relax, dude. Take a load off. And don't tell me neither one of y'all slapped down on the McFlurry. Well, I mean, let's be honest. The McFlurry machine's probably broken, so. Why don't we just get this to go and we get out of here? How about that? <laughs> You're being super shady, Brad. Is this a setup? What's going on? Nothing. That means something's going on. If we stay here, we're all gonna die. Why? They're gonna die. Orange shirt, she's gonna die. Most importantly, we are all gonna die. Hey, turtleneck, you and your whore hooker wife are both gonna die. They're gonna bomb every branch. Yeah, including this one. Oh, shit. That's how they're bombing all the timelines at once. They're all connected to that central control panel. That's our target. Of course she's in charge. Wow. Those are people. God, that's crazy. I mean, it's such a complicated issue. They're variants, but at the same time, they are people. There was nothing we could do. Some defense. Yeah, Sylvie, maybe if you had helped us a little earlier, then we could have done something a little bit different. The TVA is the problem. I mean, yeah, that's true, but still. I'm going home. If it's still there. It's not. Please don't. It's harder to stay. It breaks my heart, because I feel like Loki still has feelings for her. Like, loving feelings. Like... Oh, feelings, you know? Sylvie, are you spending every waking second at McDonald's at your job? Acting like they gave you shares. What? All right, now I should probably let you guys know that at this point where I'm doing the ranking system, I've seen every episode, okay? Episode two, Breaking Brad. We're gonna go ahead and put that at spot six, ass last, because fuck you, Brad. Oh. Makes me feel like I met like a damn Chuck E. Cheese and there's a murderous fucking child predator there. Hey kids, y'all wanna come play in the ball pit? Why am I pretending to be a child Okay, that is a, we're not, we're never doing that again. Renslayer. What the hell are you doing here? This can't be the right place. Where is she? Where's who? Oh, she's looking for Miss Menace, isn't she? Yeah, there's that little cartoon little what bitch. What took you so long? Do you have it? I'll bless your heart. We need to put this package in that window. That's it? Okay. And what do I get in return? You and I will be right by his side. Is that young ass he who remains? Gotta be, yeah. And I don't know about y'all, but I've always gotten such a weird vibe about Miss Minutes. I don't trust the woman. I, I don't trust the clock. She just seems sketchy. She's always up to some weird shit. I don't trust that fake ass country accent. Whoa. Whoa, he just got a book back in time from something that he created way into the future. That's a mind fuck. We need to scale the loom's capacity to manage all those new branches. Otherwise, we're all gonna die. We can hack into the system. Oh, that is such a relief. Mm, I'm wondering. <laughs> He's asking. He's <laughs> we're all gonna die still. What about Miss Minutes? She has administrative access to the entire TVA. Yeah, how are we gonna find a little rogue cartoon clock that doesn't want to be found? Okay, we gotta hit on the temp pad oh. right here. Dude, they look badass! Loki's rocking the hell out of that hat. I mean, if they're here, we'll find them. How do you propose we do that? 
clues, breadcrumbs, that sort of thing. That would have been sick to be a little paper boy back in the hey. day. Extra, extra, read all about it. Get your daily dose of news. It would have been sick just to scream at people for your job. Oh, ghost clock continues to haunt Midway. Well, what do you call that? Big ass breadcrumb. Breadcrumb. <laughs> yeah. Maybe it's look. Temporal. Victor Timely. That's how we'll find Renslayer. Would you kindly open the bag? You stay in that bag until I tell you otherwise. People are gonna start thinking you have an animal in there or a toddler or something weird. Don't come out of the bag until I say. Time is everything. It moves. It shapes our lives. <laughs> I hate how the dude talks. The amount of space in between words for his sentences? My asshole itches? We can shape it. Oh shit, that's him. It's him. Who? He who he remains. remains. This is one of the variants that he who remains warned me about. It's coming, it's beginning. Wait, wait, you need his temporal lobe or lumen, whatever, or aura, whatever the fuck? Bring him back to the TVA. Power! Jesus. What? A chaos! <laughs> A chaos of particles is transformed into order. The dude is batshit crazy. So you can light a few bulbs? Big deal. <laughs> Boo! Unimpressed! All science is fiction until it <laughs> Holy shit, huh? Alright, cut it off! <laughs> Welcome to the future! We need to bring him back to the TVA. Exactly! Exactly! Mr. Timely, we need to talk about your future. Step aside. As I was saying, Sir. where can we talk? <laughs> Move, God, small bridges! Let the men talk! You're a douche. I will be taking all formal bids. Five hundred dollars. I'll give you six. Seven. Eight. Eight fifty. One thousand dollars. How much is a thousand dollars in 1893? $34,198. That's not enough for a machine that can power the, the world, the planet? I mean, hey, he did say it was a prototype. Maybe it's- You stepped on my foot. <laughs> How about we settle this outside? Chill out, Fat Lincoln. Gently. <laughs> Outside. What are you gonna do, Loki? Come on. The amazing Loki, uh. everyone. He'll be here all week. Yo, that was awesome. Yeah, fuck you, Fat Abe. Your inventions are fake. Timely. Excuse me. I'll wipe that spot. All right, maybe thirty-four thousand dollars is worth it then. No one swindles me. No one except for my wife. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> There's just something about throwing fruit at people. A heads up, Casey has had a really weird uh, tempad reading. Where? About 10 feet from where you're standing. It's Sylvie, isn't it? We have that in cool. <gasps> Sylvie! Sylvie, no! You stay out of this. Oh, shit. No, Sylvie, don't kill him. We need him. Get out of my face and let me finish the job. Ah! <laughs> I don't like it when Loki and Sylvia are against each other. Whenever they're working together, it's so much more satisfying. You just want to be left alone to live a life on your branch. But if the loom fails and the TVA is destroyed, then that branch is fucking gone. There won't be a life to go back to. Right. You're the one who sided with a Loki over me. You Bitch, you tried to now? kill me. Can I play the you tried to kill me card? Yes. <laughs> yes. We need your help. There is no we. Damn. It's cold blooded. Do you think I'm gonna get any joy out of killing that man? I'm not crazy about her hairstyle, to be honest. Maybe you're right. Maybe we should throw him off this Ferris wheel. But we need him. <laughs> the TV yeah, you guys are gonna do what? The lives they protect. Throw me what? <laughs> I can't let him live. <sighs> Mr. Timer. Oh, Minutes? shit. Yeah, this is your moment. <laughs> Wait, can she actually cause damage? Can she actually kill people? Okay, come on. Absolutely not. <laughs> How awesome would it be if Loki was in a little basket? They pulled an ET. He just had a blanket over his head. 
One of your inventions? Okay, what is this bullshit invention? A cushion. It can go down to 40 degrees. Oh, and... What you want a frozen ass? Oh, it cools your ass cheeks and your beverages. Very practical. Is it? When do you need your ass cooled as well as your drinks? Our loom, it's in trouble and it needs you. That is not dissimilar to what the wizard gentleman said to me in, on the Ferris wheel. Oh, why aren't the two of you in, in cahoots with him and his butler? <laughs> Loki helped murder your variant. But he was protecting me. Mm, he switches sides. It's a well-documented behavioral trait. Yeah, it's a real love or hate relationship with Loki. I've experienced that as well. I think we all have. Hasn't every single person both loved and hated Loki, especially earlier on? For sure. Anything? Nothing. Okay, I'll have B-15 runner trays. This way. It's a TVA uh, guidebook. Mm. It was delivered to me when I was a child. It's so confusing. His own work was delivered to him as a child before he ever knew that he made it. It's just a mind fuck. I mean, a different version of himself made it, so it's not like he would ever come to find out that he actually made it unless it was intercepted in his, into his other variant life, so. Just a little complicated. I brought it to you. We both know whose plan it was. Well, whoever it was, I thank you. It was you, jackass. No, I actually kind of like this version of him. I don't know, he's like stuttering and it makes me feel kind of bad for him. One part of me is like, spit out your fucking words, dude. The other part of me is like, aw. It's beautiful. Are you guys gonna share a kiss? Are they gonna kiss? Aw. I'm starting to see the man you'll become. Oh. Dude, I'm just such a hopeless romantic inside. It's like, I want them to, yeah! <laughs> he touched her finger, score! But it's nice. <laughs> Miss Minutes just always third wheeling, side eyeing, not knowing what the hell's going on. Oh shit. You heard her, Victor. Partnership. You had to do it. Bye. Wait, what? Oh shit, he doesn't do partnerships. Oh god, I didn't even think about that. You see, Miss Minutes is a scheming little bitch. She cannot be trusted. I don't I don't like her. You see, Victor, you had to do it. Shut up, clock. Why does he have a bunch of mannequins? At one of my previous jobs, we had to do like inspections of people's houses. There was this one old lady who had mannequins dressed up, 30 plus mannequins in different places in her house, sitting at a table, eating eating cereal, some looking out the windows, some in the garden outside. Horror movie shit. You know, for a moment, I was worried that you lacked Ravona better than me. Is there a sketch of me in that journal of yours? Okay, your artificial intelligence stopped coming on to him. Is there a sketch of me in your book? Do you want to draw me like one of your French girls? Shut up! Why didn't you allow me a oh, real God. body? This is getting very weird. We could truly lead together. And then that's a slippery slope because God knows what you'd be asking for next. I could have been your girl. Good. Smart. Although you you create whatever type of body, whatever look you want. It's interesting. Oh shit! I'm the one in charge. Are we clear? Looks like you should have partnered with her after all, dude. No! No! Step away from him. All that matters is order versus chaos. I'm order. No. No! Fuck. Oh shit. You'll do terrible things. She's gonna stab you in the face. That, that isn't me. I mean, that's a good point because Sylvie and Loki are very fucking different and they're variants of the same entity. I'm not the man you think I am. She knows he's right. Even with that Davy Crockett ass haircut, she knows he's right. Get him out of here. Yep. Good job, Sylvie. Don't make me regret this. He probably will. Leave her to me. <laughs> Just do it. Where the hell is this? Oh! 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 I should've known. 
Yeah, Miss Minutes, you got real issues. It was foolish of him to make an enemy out of someone who knows all his secrets. Where's Miss Minutes' code or something? This bitch gotta go. All right, episode three, 1893, the big chase scene, the exciting, let's get Victor Timely type shit. Spot five, fifth place. Good episode, but I mean, you know what's coming, don't you? What is this? Just watch. So it's almost ready. A utopia at the end of time. Oh shit. So she was right by his side. I would be proud to lead with you. See you soon. Hey boss, is it time? Erase her memories. Erase all their memories. If you say so. Oh. So Renslayer was his right hand man and then he erased her memories. But go back and look at the way that she was looking at him. There was like a lustful look, no? She loves him. While he sat on his throne, I continued to do all the work to keep him there. <laughs> yeah, so you did all the heavy lifting. You didn't do jack shit. We don't need him. Maybe we never did. Dude. <sighs> I don't know how that makes me feel. Cause Renslayer, she had that, that gooch tingling look in her eyes, that. That look for him. So I don't know where her alliance is. And Miss Minutes, I don't know if I can ever trust that bitch. But it seems like Renslayer has an immense amount of power that we just haven't seen yet. What Renslayer and Miss Minutes have been saying about us, it's not true. Unless I said something good. <laughs> Here's the deal. Is that my loom? Yes. And you're the only one who can help us fix it. And from the way this season's been going, y'all don't have that much time, so you might want to speed things up. I know what we would have done in the past. Pruned all of them. It's simple, clean. It's simple, clean, efficient to commit fucking mass genocide, woman. That's what you're doing. With chocolate soup? What the hell? Ouroboros, you wrote the TPA handbook. I learned everything I know from a brilliant 19th century inventor named Victor Timely. If we had the resources, it would have been bigger than Einstein. Oh, this is a mindfuck, dude. Your work is based on his work, and his work is based on your work. Exactly which came first. It's like the damn chicken and the egg. And if any of you motherfuckers have an answer to that, let me know. I'm just trying to wrap my mind around that. The the book that OB wrote was delivered back in time to Timely, which gave Timely the ability to invent some crazy shit to inspire OB to write the damn TVA booklet and it just, just goes, it's a cyclic bullshit. Oh, it hurts. Someone killed he who remains and released all the- <laughs> She's like, yeah, that was me. Yeah, I did that. Sylvie, chill. Caused a whole fucking bunch of problems. One gigantic problem. Much more temporal radiation out here than there was when you went out there, Mobius. Okay, so the question is, who the hell's gonna walk out there? I mean, Loki's really gonna have to hoof it then, right? <laughs> Wait a second, why is it, why is it suddenly <laughs> me having to hoof it? It doesn't matter who it is, but this person just needs to be super fast. All right, let's have a little pie. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> this is peak MCU TV, right here. This is fantastic. Everything is turning to shit and you want to leave it to them while we go and have some pie. If you guys stay there and breathe down their necks, you got a too many cooks in the kitchen situation, Sylvie. How about fucking relax? And if we just try to figure this out, we can get out of this room and we can get back to our lives. Oh, just Somebody cut the shit. <laughs> I don't want to die in here. Well, it seemed like you gave up. When you sold out our plan. When you sold out our plan. Yeah, you're a jackass. And you were also standing there trying to give a pump up speech with one hand in your pocket. That will never work. Don't you think you earned your life? No! Yeah, don't you want to get back to your son sucking your mammary gland or what? Some years ago, my brother was banished from Asgard. And when he came back, he was different. I thought it was weakness. It was depression and being overweight. That was Fat Thor. Which actually thinking back in time, I'm super glad that Marvel took that spin with Thor because it actually showcased what somebody that was going through a deep, dark depression looked like and the effects that would subside because of that depression. Like it was spot on. I don't think enough people appreciate that fact. It'd just be easier to burn this place down and start from scratch. Sure, burn it down, easy. Annihilating is easy, hope. It's hard. So, that's real as fuck. So Timely can save the TVA. Yeah, that's what he's been saying. We hope that the TVA turns into something good. Yes. Then 
We hope that Timely doesn't turn into he who remains or someone worse. Correct. I didn't have you down for an optimist. This is the best option we have. It's hope with both things. Say you commit the genocide you're talking about and you murk everybody. You have hope that things will be better, that hitting the reset button will make the world better. There's hope with that too. There's no f sure option here. Whatever we do, we're playing God. We are gods. Oh, <laughs> what a good answer. They are. They're gods. Oh, dude, that was badass. And she's rocking the fucking trench coat. Dude, I need to get me a couple trench coats. Anybody that can rock a trench coat, game changer, man. Oh, sweet God. Rensler. Is it me or every time I look at Miss Minutes' dumb ass, I just want to smack that bitch's face. That was a solid slap, no? Really disappointing, I must- Look at that smug little face. Loaded. Brad, don't stand like that. I <laughs> What the hell? All of us here would rather die than follow you out that door. Look at Miss Minutes' dumbass! Stop smiling, you fuckass! Super annoying, dude. <laughs> Brad, what the hell? Looks like you're getting a prostate exam, dude. Now. Strange. All your files have been corrupted in real time. Did you download unauthorized games again? No. Mobius, were you looking at porn? Timely's gone. Miss Minutes is back. Oh, fuck. Gotta be Rensselaer. Oh, fuck. Is the multiplier ready? Theoretically, without timely, it doesn't matter. We gotta find him. They took him back to the timeline. No. Rensselaer doesn't want him. She wants me. She wants the TVA. Oh. They're still here. Never mind. You're gonna tell us where to find your device. I think you're going to like what I have to say. Whoa, that's kind of trippy. Like deja vu to episode one. Access denied. Access denied. Fuck you, you dumb bitch. I was about to say, this looks so familiar. Oh, he's gonna prune himself? Wait. He's gonna prune himself. This will make sense. Well, explain it to me, cause I'm lost as shit. Was it wait, cause he had to get his old version out of the way to actually complete the mission of what they're trying to do right now? Is that it? Oh shit, dude, this is crazy. Hello? About time. What's taking you guys so long? This minute is sabotaging everything, it's slowing us down. Could take her offline if I reboot the system. Someone's trying to reboot the system. I'm being lo locked out. Lo 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 locked out. Well, good. Leave, bitch. Victor, I need to tell you. <laughs> Bye. You'll never be him. That is really creepy. Okay, Brad, do not spin that thing. It does not make you look any cooler. Oh. Let's go. Hello. X5? <laughs> That's Loki. What's going on? That's Loki. Is it? I never get these things right whenever Come Loki's here. somebody else. Come here. What is going on? Prune this bitch. <laughs> is it Loki? Which way? Wake up! This way. Wait, no, that's Loki. Wait, was that X5? Was it? Sylvie? Sylvie? We have to move fast. Who's it gonna be? I'll do it. I'll put the suit on. Let's go, yeah, Loki. Let's go, then. Should be me. Well, oh, what, yeah. what do y'all just do it? Load the multiplier, launch it, and get back. Got it? Got it. Time to be brave. Time to move your ass. That's really what time it is. Okay, run! Oh my god. He just ribboned out immediately. What happened? He ribboned! He's gone. He's gone where? It's over. What's dead? over? The temporal radiation is just too high. What happens now? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? What? What? 
I thought my new computer went out! Okay, so we got spots one, two, and four. I th by default, I think we know what's happening. I mean, Jesus Christ. It's fitting that it's episode four, because guess what spot it is? Four! It leaves the top two spots for the last two episodes. I bet you didn't guess that would happen. On to the next one. His eyes are pretty damn close together, are they not? Is he just gonna forever be time slipping now? Hello? What the hell? Hello? Oh God, he's, oh my God, I don't even know who the hell is, I don't even know which Loki is the right Loki. Miss Minutes, you sly freak ass bitch. Oh my god, Loki's disappearing. We've never seen a title sequence like that, have we? Or have I just been oblivious? How much do you think McDonald's paid to be in Loki season two? That's what I wanna know. Okay, what the hell is it with Mobius and jet skis? Why does he love them so much? He was more interested in a dirt bike. Well, they say the personal watercraft is kind of the thinking man's dirt bike. I'm good. Sorry. <laughs> I'm good with this jelly donut. <laughs> Fuck off, dude. Get on the jet ski. You're here. Every day of the week except Sunday, nine to five. He has no idea who you are, Loki. The TVA is gone. I think you mean ATV. And no, you're in luck. Your son's on line three. Tell him I'll call him back too. <laughs> 1994, that's the year I was born. I know, I'm surprisingly young. I look really good, I get it. I don't think I've ever seen this one before. It's really good. He's one of the greats. Are you buying your own book? Are you judging me, sweater? What year was this? Are bookstores even a thing? When was the last time y'all stepped foot in a bookstore, dude? <laughs> <laughs> what I'm about to tell you is going to be hard to believe. Of course I believe you. This reminds me of what happens in The Sons of Urine. What's that? My most popular book of all time. <laughs> that no one reads or buys. I need to go back to before the temporal loom melted down. You can't. It's impossible. You time travel in a place that has no time, right? Yeah. That's not possible. So you traveling to a place that doesn't exist anymore is equally impossible. And therefore, it's something you might be able to do. Doesn't sound like science. No, but it does sound like fiction. So why do you need to do this? Because if I can't save the TVA from being destroyed. Millions of people are gonna die? To protect against what's coming. Kang. You should be able to control it. So go ahead. What, just start time slipping on tap? All right. Can he do that? <laughs> he just goes. <laughs> you need to save the TVA. <laughs> <laughs> Anything? Don't shit yourself, Logie, it's fine. I'm, I'm trying. <laughs> Maybe you need to try harder. <laughs> yeah, no shit. <laughs> every one of your friends has a temple aura. If we can get everyone together in one place, we can read that aura. It'll be like coordinates. And we can use these coordinates to get back to that moment no in time. No way. And then you locate the TVA? No. Oh. Well, can you build one? You can build one. It could take a whole lifetime. <sighs> Which is crazy because it's the book that he wrote. What if he had that knowledge? What's that? You tell me you wrote it. So I am going to write a bestseller. <laughs> can I? Yeah. Sort of. <laughs> <laughs> well, can I? That's a problem. Yeah, small problem. Is he burnt? How did he get burnt? Who gave you the matches? I stole them. <laughs> I stole them. Don't run, Kevin. 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 <laughs> there is something about fire, though, especially when you're a kid. I was a little pyromaniac, too. I, I just stole people's lighters and would go. Oh. Oh. Hello. Hello. Hi. You were at the shop earlier. That's right. Yeah. I got something I want to show you. Come here. It's a jet ski, isn't it? Ordinarily, it's I two jet skis. <laughs> with one of these beauties. I'm going to tell you something that's hard to understand, Mobius. Huh. Mobius? Mobius, that's your name. Actually, my name is Kevin. The hell's his name now? You belong in a place called the TVA. I don't want any trouble. 
did you build a temp pad so fast? I don't know if I say 18 months is fast. Well, 19 months. It's been 19 months? How did you? Reality isn't what you think it is. <laughs> Imagine something like that happens to you where some dude walks through a gold prism that appears from nowhere and he's like, yo, reality's not what you think. Your name is David and he's like, hey, Caleb, guess what? I need you to come to the XDC. Come to the XTC. I'd be like, dude, you're on fucking drugs, okay? Are you really my friend? I am. The TVA. You once told me it was the only life you'd ever known. Trust me. <laughs> no way this guy would actually trust him. Oh my boys. They'll be fine. Yeah, you're not just gonna leave your kids. <laughs> Look, you can come back anytime. Oh, you were, uh, you were at the shop earlier, right? That's right. Ow, what? I can bring you back to any point in time. Oh, okay. It'll be like you never left. Okay. What were you calling me? Mobius. It's a pretty cool name. <laughs> what is your name here? What's the name of the Mobius that wears a vest that sells jet skis called? This is gonna sound strange. <laughs> this is gonna sound strange. Ah, oh, he didn't say it, damn it. What are you doing? Dawn. Mobius is my space name. Is this everyone? No, we're still missing Sylvie. No, there's one more. She's at McDonald's stuffing her face. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Chick's got a snack wrap and a McFlurry in the back. Yeah, my ass, your McFlurry machine's broken. Why is it that every McDonald's McFlurry machine is broken? And why is it that they have every single ingredient they need to make snack wraps, but they won't make them? It pisses me off. This is gonna sound strange. I know you don't know who Becky, I am. Of course I know who you are. What? How? And they're finally back in their real lives. How many, if they had a choice, would have chosen to stay? And I can't give it to them without you. <laughs> we know you're gonna do it, Sylvie. Just get off your ass and do it. What is it that you really want? I want Come on. I want to save this. I don't want to be alone. You know what's so weird? Is over the course of the MCU, the movies and the TV shows, Loki's arc has been absolutely incredible. And it's funny because his arc is even better than fucking Thor's arc. How is that? I know this is hard, but your friends are back where they belong. No, they're not. But without them, where do I belong? Loki. We're all writing our own stories now. <laughs> Sylvie, stop just knocking them back and help him out. So that doodad just takes you wherever you want to go? <laughs> Don't say doodad. She's not coming. Don't bother. You should all go home. <sighs> hey, how's my only regular doing? You're only regular? Dude, you gotta do something different. You're gonna go out of business. Rough day. How better? This uh, will either cure what's ailing you or make it a whole lot worse. <laughs> I think it would be fun to go through the process of going to a record store, picking out a record, taking it home, putting on headphones and listening to it. Like that old ass way to listen to music. I apologize if that offended anybody. I was born in 94. I had CDs and Walkmans and shit, but never a record player. I mean, I got one back there, but I never had that authentic experience, you know? What the hell is this? Oh, <gasps> oh shit, Richard. Oh yeah. Cause this is a branched timeline as well. I mean, what did you expect, Sylvie? Should have listened to Loki, damn it. This is such a trippy episode. It's really well done. Oh my God, she's gonna go. They're gonna do it. Yeah? I got it wrong, all right? You should go back to your sons. You said they were in danger. They are. So now they're okay? No. You're all just fine without him. No, they aren't. Everything's falling apart, but there must be something we can do. Go back. We can stop the loom from melting down. Yeah. All right, find the coordinates. The coordinates. Ah. Oh, shit. Oh my God. Oh my God. What is the fiction problem? No, I have to go back to see my boys. There's nowhere left to go. What does this mean? I mean, I know what, what, what's happening, but... 
What does that mean? It's the fact that we're destined to lose. There's nowhere left to go. Wait, I probably have this wrong, but can he control his time slipping now? No, they aren't. He can Bunch control his time old. slipping now! I did it. Did what exactly? Dude, this is amping me up too much. I controlled it. Yes! You learn to control your time slipping. But but how did he do it? It's not about where, when, or why. What's it about? How? It's about who. Oh. Who? I can rewrite the story. All right, that was pretty badass, dude. That was episode five science fiction. And you know, you got explosions, you got time travel. It's a phenomenal episode and it tees up the most fantastic episodes. So I think we all know what's going on here. One of my favorite episodes of the entire season. You gotta put it at number two. And I bet you don't know what's gonna take the first place. Let's get to the finale. This is intense. Got the energy of a Marvel movie going into it. You okay? Yes, yes. We have to get Tani out there. Dude, everything changed since he can control his time skipping. Time jumping. Time lapsing. Here we go. What could we have done differently? We took too long. So go back further. Speed this shit up. Faster. Yep. Let's go faster this time. This time. Ah! Did he make it a little bit further? What happened? Oh yeah. Time Look. is on the essence. Dude, this is crazy. And again. 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 Such a cool way to do this montage. They executed it perfectly, and the music too. I love it. Again. What about the IND cup? Well, IND cup is fine. We're gonna route it directly with the primary compartment. Won't it overheat? No, it's not gonna overheat. Loki just seems like a fucking savant now. Knows the answer to every question, knows the outcome to every possibility. <laughs> it's really fun to watch. Watch out, OB. Looks like someone... someone's coming for your job. That's right. This all seems a bit rushed. Yeah, well, no shit. We need to rush, dude. Go, timely. Before you know it, you'll be at the end of the gangway. Well done. What is this dude holding his face like that for? What is that about? Hit the green button. And then get your ass back! Button. It can be a little sticky. Now come back. Go, 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 go. Gosh, I've had dreams like that, where I'm running a race in track and my body just moves slow motion, one step at a time, and everyone else is dead sprinting. Watching him struggle back reminds me of those dreams. Extremely unsatisfying. Let's go! Pumpkins. P pumpkins? It's working. Finally. It's stabilizing. It, work with it can't be that easy though. I mean, it wasn't easy. They tried a thousand times, but... Look at this. It worked. Wait. What? See? Complications. Kaloon is overloading again. It's not possible. We have to get out of here. The branches of time are duplicating at an infinite rate. Meaning what? It will never be, be enough. enough. Never enough. It will never work. The loom will always fail. Yeah. yeah. Stop. Stop. Well, he just time skipped back here now? Stop. You don't want this. You cannot kill him. You must not follow through. It all ends if you do. Get out of my way. Is he gonna kill her? You'll have to kill me. Close. Sylvie, stop! If you wanna stop me, you'll have to kill me. He's gotta kill Sylvie. Nope. If you want me to stop, you'll have to kill me. Oh, dude, she just kicked him right in his doubloons. How many times have you been at this? Wait, how does he know? This isn't the first time we've had this conversation. What the hell? How did you know? 
I know about the slipping. And who do you think paved that road? Wow. And what makes you think this is the first time we've had this conversation? You're having some, some, some problems with the, the temporal loom. It destroyed the TVA. The temporal loom is a failsafe. Meaning what? It deletes everything except the sacred timeline. But the outcome to this equation it remains the same. He lose. Or does he? I know. I know. Oh. No, something tells me he doesn't. I'll change the equation. I'll break your loom. But the loom prevents a brutal war where nothing survives, Loki. But the loom also presents the certain future where nothing survives. Hey, you want to break the loom. What do you think would happen to your friends? Does it matter though? Because what happens if he doesn't break the loom? What happens to his friends? The same fucking thing, right? I'll find another way. Let's see it. Okay. Don't tell me Loki's purpose is something messed up and dysfunctional, like he just keeps going around in revolutions over and over again, fighting an eternal war with himself and he who remains that never actually resolves anything. What are you gonna do? Claim my throne. Okay, so let's get into it. Mobius, I need your help. How do you choose who lives? And who dies? We don't choose the timekeepers. The timekeepers. The <laughs> timekeepers are a bunch of bullshit, dude. What comfort is that? Comfort? No, there's no comfort. You just choose your burden. Thank you, Mobius. Holy shit. I finally learned to control the time slipping. I thought I could fix the loom. It was designed to protect the sacred timeline and nothing else. Oh, of course it is. The only way that anything survives- Is if I never kill he who remains in the first place. Yes. So you have to kill me. There's no other way around it though. I don't want her to die. Y'all gonna kiss? Watch out, she got that Big Mac breath. <laughs> Not giving you my blessing if that's what you're waiting for. It's the sacred timeline, or nothing. Do you really want to be the god who takes away everyone's free will so you can protect that? But what good is free will if everyone's dead? Who are you to decide we can't die fighting? It's okay to destroy something. If there's a hope that you can replace that thing with something better. Oh, he's gonna be the one to do it? Loki? What are you doing? Oh, shit! I know what kind of god I need to be for you. For all of us. No! Loki! No! Dude, you're gonna fucking sorcerer ribbon all over the place! What the hell? He's wearing his bug headwear! <laughs> what? The branches are dying. But he's bringing them to life? How is he doing that? <laughs> Y'all know what the hell's going on? He's giving us stones. Oh, he sacrificed himself to give you guys an opportunity. What a fucking badass! Loki's arc is absolutely insane. You remember the first episode of this series? How pompous and arrogant he was? Look at how selfless he's being. This arc is insane. I'm, I'm just confused as to what this means. My dude's sitting on a gold throne.
reminds me of what what was Thor's evil sister's name? Hella? That reminds me of her. After? The TVA is still here. Loki saved the TVA. Miss Minutes! Hey y'all! I'm Miss Minutes. Hey y'all! Shut the hell up! I got those reports on the variants of he who remains. Your file as requested. You're leaving. He's going back to his old life. You think the TVA is gonna miss him? Tired, washed up old analysts with a heart of gold. Yeah! I think there is one or two who will. Gotta go see what exactly it is we've been protecting for all this time. What? It's weird that Loki's not here, isn't it? Very. Very weird. Yeah. Where are you gonna go? You? I might just wait here for a little bit. And then I'm gonna go ride a jet ski. Let time pass. The smile. Kinda? Ah! What does all of that mean? And we're here, dude! The finale! If a show does not have the finale as the best episode, then they severely fucked up. Yeah, we knew that was gonna happen. This is the final list, okay? Now, present Alex is gonna hand it back off to past Alex because we're always in this mix of time travel and shit. We're going back to past Alex right whenever he finished the entire series to get the final words on his thoughts of Loki season two. Oh my God. Okay, well we could realistically talk about the entire season of Loki for how incredible it was, which would go on for hours and hours and days. I'm gonna leave you guys with this. This was my favorite Marvel TV show ever. I think this actually did a huge job in saving the MCU just by giving us the content that we all wanted. And my main question is Loki got to a point where he admitted defeat, right? And then he builds this fucking throne through all these green, weird, dick-shaped maneuvers and timelines to the point where he sat on the throne that he always said he wanted. So we had this unbelievable full circle moment with Loki. My question is, is he now the king of the multiverse? Because it seems like he's watching over every different universe from the throne. So I don't think he's died. And there's just not enough words that I can say to do this show justice. I can just give you guys some claps. Four big claps for you, a little swig of coffee, and a gooch slap. Ah! And with all that being said, that's Loki season two. Love you guys. Peace! Don't